and being acknowledged and being validated are really important elements uh, to me. And they're, they're, they're pillars for, for, the inclusive, for the inclusive movement. I am capable of living on my own, I, but I, even though I get help, I am independent. And I, you know, that is my good place. You can't expect people to tell you what to do, you know? You've got to be creative in your own way. Look in the mirror every day and say, just say you look good, you know? <laughs> it all started when I was in high school. Um, I, have, well, I have autism, high functioning autism, and I made the finals for my public speaking in front of my high school, so we're talking over 500 plus people. And I, then I thought to myself, I'm like, I'm autistic. And I want to help and en encourage and I want to empower the people who have the label of a developmental disability. And I want to guarantee them work in my province and in my community and eventually the world if possible. I want to work for like a driving company that rather maybe provides a vehicle like Lordco or Napa because I love driving. I've had no accidents. Clean driving record for four years. I have my N right now. So, and that's what I want to do, and I'm gonna, I can transport myself to places, and, if, and friends as well. So, we looked at what are the things that she does, and just concentrated on those things, kept on developing them in every way that we knew. We did not give even one single negative thought. We didn't give space to any single negative thought. Kept on focusing on how much we can teach her and she kept on giving us back in many many ways. I got a 23 year old daughter and my wife is supported with me and all my friends are supported with me. With CLBC especially is motivating people going out there telling them my experience of about my disability and sharing my life story. So that's one of my strengths. Well, working at Extra Foods, um, like they, they like how hard I work. Like they, I've had people like, you know, say good job, David, you, you know, you did good today and all that. It's really nice. My strengths and how I recognize like is that I'm a very social person and uh, how I recognize um, I got a chance uh, over a few, quite a few times over the years to be like a public speaker. I I have so many strengths actually. I I I do what I am told. Sometimes with demonstration, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm really good under pressure. I think one strength that we see in a lot of Aboriginal families and um, individuals is the strength of the community, and um, and also um, just the value and strength of keeping the family together. Recognizing a person's strengths is the foundation upon which Community Living BC was built. We need to build on those strengths as together we create a plan that will work for that person and help them to feel that they are truly contributing to their community.